I'm Hazel, and today I'm going to catch you up on everything you need to know about the Greedy Emissary Diablo-themed event in WoW. To help drum up excitement for Diablo 4, there's treasure goblins to kill and goodies to get. The event has started now and will run until June 14th. The basic gist is every 30 minutes, a treasure goblin will spawn in a specific zone. Kill it to get cosmetic event loot and buff charms. The portal appears in the zone every half hour, so at 12 and 12.30 and 1 and 1.30, etc, etc, with the actual goblin spawning 5 minutes following. You get a handy little countdown right on the portal. So let's look at what you can get from this. You will find various Diablo-style buff charms. Having one in your bag will give you the listed buff, there's no need to equip or click on anything. These are now being disabled in instances according to this blue post, so there's no need to farm them all for your raid night, but if you have any in your bags you're going to be a little bit stronger in outdoor activities. There is a familiar mount to be had from this event, and it's this one, Tyriel's Charger. This is the same Tyriel's Charger from the old annual pass promotion, and it was later offered in the shop. You can now get this for free from this event if you did not already have it. We also have a 36 slot bag available called the Horodric Haversack. This is unique equipped, so your character can only use one. Now about those first two things. According to a blue post, Tyriel's Charger and the Haversack have a higher chance to drop on the first kill per day per account. All other items have the same drop rate for each kill. You can definitely receive things from treasure goblins in a day after your first, so if you're coming up empty it's just bad luck, but if you're farming specifically for the charger or the haversack you're going to have a better chance on your first kill of the day. It also follows that if you want the haversack on a specific character, then maybe have your first kill of the day be on that character to get that better chance to drop it on the character that you want. There's also a pet available called Baal, y'all. This is a recolor of Baal, and you will earn the Little Lord of Lies achievement when you loot it. There are three different toys that you can get from these goblins. The Tome of Town Portal is a cosmetic hearthstone toy. It shares a cooldown with the rest of your hearthstones. This is also something that was available from an older Diablo promotion, so you may already have it, but they've taken this opportunity to go in and update the visuals on it. So it used to be just a standard green casting animation, and now it looks much better and more Diablo themed. Another toy that you can get from this is the 12 string guitar. It's on a little bit of a long cooldown, but for any musical themed characters that's a must have. And the Nightmare Banner is something you may see being put down around these treasure goblins because that's also something you can get here. We also have a number of transmogs you can get. The Enmity Hood and Cloak is a hood and cloak pair that is very similar to what we've seen in the trading post. This one is Diablo themed, it does drop together, you're going to get both of them at once if you get them. The Treasure Nabbin Bag is a backpack transmog with a big sword through it. The Livestock Lockaber Axe is a two-handed polearm. And then we have three different Wurtz Legs, which are all the same model, but it's available as an offhand, a two-handed mace, and a one-handed mace. Alright, so that's what we're playing for. Let's get to the tips and tricks, and the trick here is finding out where the next goblin is going to be. Now, it appears to follow a fixed schedule, which means that that can be solved by a weak aura, or a spreadsheet. It was a bit wonky when the event first launched, but it does seem to have settled down. So if you want to predict where the next goblin is going to be, we have a community Google Doc with both North American and EU times. If you like the notebook approach, you can check. Or you can just slap on a week or that shows the location and timer for the next event on your screen. I will link both the Google Doc and both week ors in the description. Make sure you get the correct one for your region. I will reiterate that you can receive loot even if it is not your first kill of the day, so feel free to farm these every half an hour. Sometimes you will just get gold, so try not to be discouraged if you're getting unlucky. These can be tagged and looted even on low level characters. Another tip is if you're having a tough time targeting it, you can make a macro that is quite simply slash tar treasure goblin. And then I have been using my interact key to help me loot the goblin underneath the big pile of people. Uh, if you want to use that, you can enable that in your settings and then assign it to any key that you like. You can also step into these treasure piles here for a haste and movement speed buff if you feel like you really want to try to parse on the goblin. The experience bonus that you may have heard about is not currently active. That part of the event is going to be later after this part ends. So we have the treasure goblins until June 14th, and then the 50% experience and rep buff, which will not include the Niffin, will start after that June 15th and should run until July the 11th or so. And that's the Greedy Emissary event! Altogether, I've been finding it very fun. It feels more like a pre-patch event than the actual Dragonflight pre-patch event did, in my opinion. 
Thanks for watching, good luck on your loot, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.